Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday after the Monday squeeze. We got squeezed. We got jacked yesterday. Um, very annoying day. Um, nothing went right. Gave away all of our profits from our long dollar yen um, over the weekend. Very, very annoying. Uh, but now we're just uh, square again, heading into CPI. Let's see what happens here. Let's have a look at these charts and see what's going on. Whoops, let's connect. Um, let's look at yields first. Not a ton here, right? So we were dicking around at 375. Now we're at 370, 3696. I would still say that's dollar bullish um, you know where where does this become dollar bearish probably below 365 um, but be that what it may let's look at the currencies right so we were short Aussie yesterday oops that's a bullish engulfer right there but bullish engulfing going into um, a number like this uh, the technicals are, are, are just less meaningful uh, when you go into these uh, global macro moments. So you kind of have to throw that out the window. Um, we started selling at 20 yesterday. Let's see right here. I guess we were in the money for a second when it went down to 13. Um, but then straight up all day. Closed at 71 last night. Uh, briefly, it went down to 50. Um, could be a double top here at 75. But just to show you how we got skanked in Aussie yesterday, um, that's where the pain was for us. Uh, you know, we took profit in dollar yen, 132.40. And then gave all that money away in, in Aussie. So it is what it is. We just got to keep moving forward uh, and go at this thing today. Equities higher. This makes zero sense to us. Um, 41.50, uh, 60 handles yesterday. That just doesn't make a lot of sense on so many levels. But I guess everyone had, to, you know, you don't. We know for a fact that everyone was short. Uh, certainly the weekends or the short-term guys were all short, uh, as in all the guys like me. Uh, we weren't short stocks, but we were short Aussie, which is kind of the same thing. Uh, bang. Uh, right in the ass. Uh, so what's going to happen here? So today, going forward, we're going to sell high ones, right? So anywhere up near 4,200. So let's just say between 4,180 and 4,200, we're going to sell. Um, if this comes in hot and it and this thing gets smashed right on the number, we're going to have to sort of feather into this. Uh, and this kind of looks more likely, right? So like a soft number is now kind of priced in. Dollars got smashed. Uh, smashed is an interesting adjective. Uh, dollars lower going into this makes no sense. Um, stocks are higher. It's just a squeeze, right? So uh, if this thing comes in hot, it's going to be tricky today, and that's just life. You, you know, if I if I can't if I can't get long dollars or short stocks, uh, that's just life. Um, but if this thing comes in soft or in line and we see a little bit more of a squeeze, we will fade this <clears throat> 4180 to 4200. Let's look at Euro Sterling. We were buying this yesterday. Um, this actually paid. You know, we, we, we bought 35s, we bought 30s, we sold 40s, we bought 30s, we sold 40s. Uh, feels like this thing is ready to turn. It's been quite a few down days here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven down days. 
<clears throat> we did not get given the 8805. That's a lonely bid that's been sitting down there. Um, but these lonely bids can also be telling, right? Uh, this feels like it's going to turn today. This is not dollar based. Uh, can you be long euro sterling today? We think you can. So that is interesting and non CPI related. What else is out there? Swiss yen was a funny one yesterday. Wow. Swiss yen at one point was up 1.3%. Like, why the fuck is Swiss yen up 1.3%? Um, 144.30 the high. Now we're 70 points lower. Um, this is a weird one. The only reason I bring this up is two and a half sigmas, 145.01. So if something funny is going on in Swiss yen, uh, and I'm not saying there is there is something funny going on, but like that was just an absurd move yesterday. Um, this is a conviction sell uh, up at 145 today. And I know that sounds stupid. It's 140 points away. It's just going to go up another 1%. But when mysterious shit happens, look for more mysterious shit and have a plan in place uh, is the way we like to think about these things. Let's look at Dollar Swiss. This also confused us yesterday. On Twitter, we wrote about this bar here. So this is CPI, bang, down, 90, 92.10. Next hour straight back up 50 no 9231 uh paid and we're like oh fuck dollar swiss doesn't like it down there turns out it did like it down there next bar bang down uh 9204 and then dribble 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 like kyrie irving lots of dribbling uh down to 9180 We've been saying this, we've been talking about this, and it's one of these difficult uh, currencies to assess because it's crowded, right? All of retail is long dollar Swiss. All of retail is long euro Swiss. And until they fucking get smashed out of this or there's a huge global macro event that saves them, um, just want to avoid both of them, right? So euro Swiss, you just want to avoid... Uh, on its knees, 98.56. Dollar Swiss also on its knees. Maybe uh, look to buy Dollar Swiss at like 89.50 on some stupid extreme where like many retail people are going to be leveraged, forced sellers. Um, otherwise, just avoid it. And if this does turn by some miracle, It'll be a global macro event, right? So it could be CPI today. So if CPI comes in super hot, obviously Dollar Swiss is going to shoot higher. Um, but because of the crowd in this trade, there are other horses that we're going to ride today if, uh, if CPI is hot. Anyway, this thing has been doing our heads in. Um, it's not like we've been trading a lot, but we use it as kind of a bellwether, and it just keeps tricking us uh, as part of the story, as part of the trick of the price action. Um, so just be wary. Shit's crowded. It's trading like a crowded trade. I don't think it belongs here at ninety one seventy eight. But look, FX is more about psychology than reality. So just keep that in mind. Let's look at gold. Speaking of crowded trades. This thing can't get out of its own way. I guess we were up seven bucks from the absolute lows, but if CPI is hot, gold is going to get fucking crushed. Um, so depending on what your setup is, if you have a retail setup, you can't trade CPI anyway. Liquidity is not good enough. But if you have an institutional setup and you have an aggregator um, and you have good liquidity, Gold through uh, 1850 on a hot one. Seems hysterical. We were just trading at uh, 1950. Uh, but this is what gold does, right? It just goes way the fuck farther than anyone wants it to. Than any, you know. And 
just put yourself in the situation of a gold bug. And there's so many gold bugs out there, guys, who just can't see uh, the rain from a blizzard. Um, they just, you know, take it right in the ass. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. 1850 is going to yield. There'll be a bunch of stops through there. So careful with that. What else? Not much else out there. I mean, uh, you don't want to go into CPI with a big packet of uh, currencies on. So just chill out this morning and prepare yourself for what if CPI is hot? What if it's on target? And what if it's lower, cold? Uh, what are we going to do? That's all I got for you. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.